Hi guys, welcome to another Rocket Cake tutorial. In this one, we will talk about Google font weight. Let's write some text in Rocket Cake. Let's center it, let's make it bigger. Let's make it blue, okay. Now, we can give text some variety in Rocket Cake. The text can be regular. The text can be bold. It can be italic and it can be bold italic. How we, how we do that? Bold, italic, and bold, italic. Now, in Google Fonts, we can have a greater variety. So, let's go to Google Fonts. We have a lot of fonts here, almost 1300 now. And we can see that Roboto has 12 styles. Not only four, but 12. There are some variable fonts also. We see Montserrat here having 18 styles. Poppins also 18 styles. 18 is the maximum and let's check out Montserrat, a very popular font on the internet and we can see that it goes from thin to black and the web code is uh, goes from 100 to 900 by the hundred. So, how do we use that in Rocket Cake? First of all, let's select all these styles, all 18 of them, and uh, of course, they can be. regular and italic. So that's nine font weights with the regular and italic versions. So that's nine, nine times two, which is 18. We selected these styles and on the right we see here that Google generated a code for that. So we copy this code and we will paste it into the head of our HTML file. Go to the file, HTML code, additional code in the header. So we paste it here. Okay. So now our HTML file is prepared to use all 18 styles of Montserrat font. Actually, it uh, creates CSS rules also, so we can copy and paste that too. HTML code and here we go to additional CSS styles and we paste it here. We put a space before and after, okay. In my experience, the code in the header is enough, but okay, let's do it all. So now, what we do is we will use the Montserrat. Font. Let's 
let's make it smaller. Now normally what we do is this. And it turns Montserrat. It does it on my computer because I have the Montserrat font installed. But now we will do something else. We'll go for Times New Roman, which is a serif font. And I will write Montserrat here. I do this so that if there is something that is not right, then we can immediately see that uh, it, it, it will turn into Times New Roman and the difference is really big so we will see that something is not right. Normally on a website we do the exact opposite of this. We write Montserrat font before Arial or some, some other uh, sans serif font. But uh, let's see if, if I, I make a typo here, Montserrat X, then it immediately shows in our case that something is not right. So on the web page you write uh, your font, your sans serif font before sans serif fonts. If you have a serif font then you use it uh, before uh, serif fonts. But for the video's sake we do the exact opposite of what we do on a web page. Now we have nine weights of Montserrat, so to, what I will do is that I will just copy this and I have it here nine times and we go back to Google Fonts and so we have here thin. So we have Montserrat thin. And how will I make this thin? It's very simple. I select it and here I write Montserrat thin. Wonderful, it's thin. Let's go on. We have extra light. So the next is extra light. So I select it and here I write extra light. I press enter and it's not good. What's the problem? I open my word processor program and I look for the problem. I write Montserrat and here I write I want to make it Montserrat extra light. Okay, let's let's make it bigger. For fun's sake, let's make it blue. <laughs> okay. So I go to Montserrat and I see extra light here, there it is, and what I see is that it doesn't use a hyphen and it uses a capital L. And as I saw with all the other fonts, no hyphen and when it says extra bold, it use capi uses capital B, semi-bold uses capital B and no hyphen. So I come back here to Rocket Cake and change this, extra light, no hyphen and capital L. And that's good. So let's see the others. It goes light and regular. Okay, so I write Montserrat light. Good. Montserrat regular.
it doesn't like this either. What's the problem? Montserrat regular is simply Montserrat. So we don't write regular. Now we go to medium and semi bold. Medium. Nice. Semi bold. And we learned our lesson no hyphen and capital B. Good. The next is Montserrat bold. It doesn't work either. What's the problem? This is not the way to go. Montserrat bold is Montserrat and we make it bold here. Yes. Okay, the next one is extra bold and black. So Montserrat extra bold Yes. And Montserrat black. There we go. Let's preview it. We have Montserrat in all nine of its weights. Then what we do is we just copy this container and paste it here. Okay. And we just go italic on the whole thing. And there we have it. All 18 versions of Montserrat. Now I want to do the same thing with the serif font. And from Google Fonts I want to use Meriwether. This is also a very popular font. So I select all eight versions of Meriwether. I copy this code. Let's say the fir for the first I will give the name Montserrat. For the second I will give the name Mary Weather. All right. So I will paste this HTML code here. I copy and paste this into the CSS. But to be safe, I press a space here. Okay, so let's say Meriwether. And I will write it before a sans serif font for the video's sake, you know, in the web page, you do it 
the other way, right? You write it before a serif font because Mary Weather is a serif font. So let's write it Mary Weather. Okay, I have it on my computer. So this is Mary Weather. Now it goes from light. regular, bold, and black. So, merry weather light. Good, it works. Regular. It doesn't like it, so it's just undo it. Merry weather regular is merry weather. Merry weather bold. It doesn't like it. So merry weather bold goes like this. There it is. And merry weather black. Black. Good. We have all these, or all four of these Meriwether font weights. We copy the whole thing, paste it, and we select these four lines again and Click on italic. And there we are, we have all eight Meriwether styles. I will save this file and uh, you can download it from the link under the YouTube video or you can visit the Rocket Cake tutorials. dot com website and download it from there. Let's preview it. There we go. Okay, I hope you liked this rocket cake tutorial? If so, I'm happy. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye bye.